Mets need a manager. New GM Billy Epler has mentioned wanting an in-game tactician. Who better than Buck? Does he make sense for the Mets, Anthony McCarron? Yes, he does, Sal. He checks all the boxes in terms of the field general. Uh, he'd be a face of the franchise type, two. He's had success wherever he's been. He hasn't won the World Series, yes, but if you look at the 94 strike, changed the arc of Buck's career. The entire Yankee dynasty might have looked very different, and he might have won a bunch of World Series with that team if they played the World Series that year because the Yankees were headed there for a showdown with the Montreal Expos, by the way, uh, which would have been something to see. Uh, one thing that Buck would do for the Mets also... I think there's going to be a lot of pressure on the players now. Steve Cohen has pumped a lot of money into this team, and there are some big-name guys on there now. They're expected to take a step up. I think Buck can deflect a lot of that pressure. Uh, if he is the manager of this team, I'm not sure that going with an untested guy, will be able. he'll be able to shield in the same way Buck will. I think that's just another reason why they ought to consider him heavily for the gig. Yeah, clearly it's a different team now than what it was maybe a couple of weeks ago. So, Todd, what qualities does the Mets' new manager need to have, in your opinion? Well, I, I mean, I kind of boiled it down to four. And my four, um, Major League playing experience, comfort and experience with the media, character and reputation beyond reproach, certainly – over the last couple of years, they've found that to be a challenge. And then balance of analytics and eye test. And what I mean by that, I went through this process last year where I said, sometimes you got to analyze with your eyes instead of the iPad. And I think to that point, um, Showalter is a guy that besides the Major League Baseball playing experience, I think he gets a pass on that because he's had such a long career as a manager. I do think there is something about having that experience, especially I heard it from guys last year in specifically as it pertained to Chili Davis and Chili Davis being fired. Quattlebaum may be a great guy, maybe know everything about analytics, but when the guys want somebody that's been through an 0 for 20 or feels good at the plate and is not getting hits, they go to somebody that's had that experience. I think that's something that still is necessary in this game, and I think it's something that is a good quality of a major league manager. And Showalter, I think, checks most of the boxes, maybe just not that last one. Yeah, I love the, the values that you have on there. I think those are all great and very important, especially in New York. The media is, is huge. Uh, the guy that keeps coming to the top of my list is Bob Guerin. He was the bench coach here the last time the Mets went to the World Series when I was on this team. Uh, he has managed before in Oakland. As I said, he was the bench coach here. He understands the New York market. Uh, he is the type of analytics to, uh, you know, to his playing days type of a guy and can he sees the field. He knows what's going on. But obviously, he, he was always progressive with the Mets. He was the guy that was telling us as catchers, me and Travis, we were working all the time on framing. That was him that was – he started that here. He was the one who got that going here in New York. He is an analytics guy. So I think he does check all those boxes. And, and that's part of the reason that he is probably my uh, best uh, candidate for the job.